Hello there! Welcome to a brand new series and in this series I'm gonna be teaching you Java graphics programming with Swing and this is for beginners so you will need only very very basic Java knowledge in order to understand these things so if you have a really basic Java knowledge just come here and you will go out being a good Java GUI programmer so let's quickly create a new class I have already created a project here so just create a new class and I'm gonna be name my class window since we have been we've been creating a window in this and we'll need this public static void main so finish here and here we have created a new class and uh, this is inside a package I have created you can either give it inside a package or not so now we are going to create a window now there are two ways to create a window in swing a window basically means a JFrame so first of all we have to import a uh, JFrame so just do like that what I'm doing and once we have done that now we can use the JFrame so there are, as I said, there are two ways. Either we can extend JFrame or we can create a new JFrame. But we can, uh, in this tutorial, we'll extend the JFrame. So here we will extend the JFrame. Now, as you know from the inheritance, uh, since we're extending, now inheritance is, uh, is a relationship. So now window is a JFrame. So now you can call any method of JFrame from window. Okay. So in the constructor of the window class, uh, this is the constructor. In the constructor of the window class, we are going to set up all the JFrames, or our windows. So the first function, or the first method we we'll need is um, set default close operation. Uh, in case you don't know, this basically means setting the default close operation or when the window will be created if we don't set the close operation then we cannot close the window and that is really weird so here we have created set default close operation and we have selected jframe.exit on close that basically means when we press the exit or quit button it will close that's what I want and next we have to create the size uh, we will get the size 400 by 400 and I guess that will be pretty good for it so first of all we have created a close operation and we have created the size now it's time to create set visible if we don't set visible and set it to true if we don't set it to uh, if we don't call a set visible method then it will not be visible and we will not be able to see our frame so we have set up our window here now all we have to do is as you as I've seen uh, as I have told you previously that now our window is a JFrame so in order to create a new JFrame we just have to create a new window since window is a JFrame so inside our main method we will create a new window and this will be pretty much our JFrame so here we have inside main method created a new window now if we go and run as you can see we have a window here as you can see here we have a window but the problem is the window gets generated at the side from 0 0 coordinate but what you want is generate it at the center so in order to generate it at the center we will create another we have to set another method here and that method is set location relative to and set it to null this basically means setting the location related to null uh, if we select uh, set the location of the JFrame related to null then what will happen is so now the window will be created at the midpoint of the screen if we press the run button now as you can see the window is now created at the center so this is what we wanted now you have created a window from scratch in Java and this is pretty much the entry point of graphics programming I hope you enjoyed and learned something uh, please please check out the other video and if you have any questions please tell it into the comments I'll see you in the next video thank you very much